Well, no, I don't think they look bad. No, I mean, you've got so many lights on. Why not wear sunglasses? George, you didn't tell me you're recording. Hi. Um, <clears throat> getting to... Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, never, never mind that. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I've decided... I've decided that I've been way too distracted during podcasts. And so I'm committing to staying on task and I'm going to get to my top story. And I'm the thing that I want is rather than just, just distracting the whole time, I'm going to say the main thing that I want to say first. That's my, uh, that's going to be the new format. I'm going to get to the first thing right away. So, you know, Hold, hold on. Before I, before I get, b before I get my, too, too far into this, though, I want to ask a question. Has anyone ever, like, understood why the blue screen changed to green? D does anybody know why? I mean, it, it used to be blue, and then all of a sudden, somewhere, it changed to green. No, no, I mean, I mean like, like, like the, 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 the Weather Channel people... Like there'd be this big blue screen and the weather person would go out and sometimes to make a joke, they'd wear a blue tie or they'd, 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 they'd uh, wear like a, a blue, like what the weather lady wore a blue dress one time and she blended in with the background. What? Well, why did it change from blue to green? It was a, it was a production to make sure that it didn't conflict with the other colors. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. George has a good point. The, the shirt uh, I'm doing this current season, uh, with just sponsoring guys. In fact, I'm thinking about just doing a different guy's shirt, but yeah, I'm, why not have guys sponsor the season? Well, I own it. I, I can have the money from my company sponsor my company. Um, okay. Trying to get back on task here to get, mm, you know, could you turn the temperature down just a little bit? It's a little bit hot in here. I, th I think, well, I, I, no, 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 no. Now listen, George, all that stuff about caring for the earth, there are many, many, many big picture, m many, many larger problems to deal with than just your little air conditioner. No, I know straws are illegal in California. No, that's not ridiculous. They're in Cal well, you should see what's going on over here in Asia. They, no, yo, they, they had, well, they, they, they throw straws at you constantly. It, it's like if you get a, a, a can of, of Coca-Cola, they, they put, or Pepsi for that matter, they, they'll, they'll, put the, they'll give you a straw for it. If they, the twist off tops, you can drink, they'll put a straw in it. If you get, you get anything any bottled beverage of any kind, they offer you a straw for. It's like, just drink and, you know, like, like, like you can't recap the bottle if you got a straw in it. But when you, but they give straws for everything over here in Asia. And it's annoying. In fact, they've got so many little tiny plastic bags that they finally started charging for those. So, no, I don't think that, 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 that making it illegal to have too many straws is, is bad. Well, okay, maybe punishing people so much for it is bad, but why? Well, okay, I guess, I guess, I guess California could have started with milder enforcements, you know, not having police stopping. You've got a bag of straws in your car, you straw smuggler. Yeah, I, maybe that's overboard. But I, I understand the irritation with straws. They are overused and they are annoying. And it's, it's, it's just more garbage. I mean, you know how weird straws are when they fit into the trash? No, I get the irritation with straws, but I, I suppose over enforcing it. I mean, rather than charging people thousands of dollars for, you know, such a terrible thing as a straw, maybe, you know, charging someone like a $50 fine. I mean... I mean, a speeding ticket should cost more than, than, a, than a straw ticket. Should straws be a primary offense? Well, I... Should straws be a... 
Should, should they, because there's like a, a primary and there's like a secondary law. It's like you could stop. Should you be able to stop a car for having a straw? Well, isn't it illegal to drink and drive? No, like, isn't it? Well, actually, well, no, hold on, though. Because if you've, if you've got a bottle and you're, you're driving and you drink a beverage and you tip your head up, that's distracted driving. So drinking under most circumstances would be illegal. The solution would be to have a straw so that you can drink without it. So don't straws make it safer for people to drive? Well, I mean, so th then, then straws should not be a primary law. You shouldn't be able to stop someone for drinking with a straw. That actually should be okay, shouldn't it? Mm. What about buying them in a supermarket? Should it? Be? I, 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 you know what? I don't. I don't care about the. No, I want to get to the story that I've. I'm. I, I. I've got this commitment, George, to try to get to my stuff first. Look, listen. When you're going through life, it's so easy to just get distracted all the time, right? Okay. I mean, you, you got your priorities, you're trying to do stuff. I, I got a buddy that bought a great big, huge, fat house out in the middle of nowhere, and now he's got to drive an hour to work instead of five minutes, you know, every what, something like that. But no, it's hour round trip in all fairness, but rather than two and a half minutes one way. But, it, you know, it's typically it's been five, ten minutes driving, and now he's had to spend an hour every day because he bought a great big, fat house, and he d wants to get his own business going anyway. So I... I'm not going to judge him, but I mean, come on, man, you know, get the smaller house, look closer to work, get, get an apartment so you don't have a lawn to mow, keep your life simple so you can have more time to focus on your goals. It's like, you've got to focus on what you're doing. And here I am trying to get to my story, the top story for the day, and, and you keep distracting me. Well, I know little priorities always come up. You, you've got to deal, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to stop to deal with the little things. I know you've got to stop to deal with the little things that, that, well, that's, well, actually, you know, typically, uh, no, no, no. I don't want to go tell the story again about the professor who brought in the, the jar. Okay, I'm going to have to tell the story. The professor brought in a bunch of jars and he had some big rocks and he took a, you know, he had an empty jar and he filled it up with, with rocks about the size of your fist and then he asked the class, is the, is the jar full? And they said, yeah. So then he pours pea gravel in it and then he asked until it's full of pea gravel with the space between the rocks. And then he asked the class, is the jar full? And about half and half, yes, no. And then he pulled out sand, poured sand in it down in the little cracks in the pea gravel, in the space between the pea gravel, and until it was full, and he said, is it full? And they, everybody said, no. So he took water, poured water in the jar until it was full of water. He said, is it full? And he said, everyone said, yes, yes, now it's full. He said, well, what did we learn? And, 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 and one guy said, well, we can always put more stuff into our schedule. No matter how full it is, there's ways to find more. And he said, no. If you don't put the bigger rocks in first, they don't get in at all. And it's not about bigger and smaller rocks being more important and less important. It's, it's about how well they fit. So sometimes you've got to schedule your big projects for later and get all the little tiny stuff done. But then you've got your bigger stuff scheduled. Like, you know, I'm going to do this on this day at that time, two weeks from now. Like you, you, you put it somewhere. You didn't have to do it. You had to put it somewhere. So I, I've scheduled this top story and... Oh, no, 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 no. We, we canned the point. The, the point, I'm not getting to the point. I'm not going to get to the point anymore. The point is going to be a separate podcast altogether. I'm not going to do this redundant thing where I'm going to get to the point here and then I'm going to have the point there. The points, I already recorded the point. But, but listen, man, you've got to understand how priorities work. If you don't get your priorities in order, you're never going to get to the important stuff and... And I've got this story and I brought it up first and I wanted to get to it. And you are not going to distract me from getting to this story. Okay. You did it. Thank you, Mr. Podcast Observer. I don't even to change your name for the podcast distractor. Here we go. All this thanks to you and your blabbling. We're all out of time. I'm sorry we didn't get to the top story, but maybe we will next time.